We are at Valley Fair. This is one of our favorite parks here in Minnesota. But since it's a park we like so much, we've actually filmed here quite a bit. So we're going to do something a little bit different this time. We're going to do kind of like a head to head challenge, except what we're going to do is we're going to flip a virtual coin at the start of every game to see who's going to play. So I'm going to be heads and Spencer is going to be tails. And this way it's going to be us not knowing he's going to play the game. And I think it'll really put us on the spot maybe to show our skills. So um, I'm a little nervous. You guys know I'm a, I'm a planner, but this adds some spontaneity to this. I'm sad to report there's not as many Squishmallows here this year, but a lot of other cute prizes. So let's see what we can win at Valley Fair. Okay, we always start in the other game section of the park. So we're gonna start back here in the Midway Games, back by the water park. Uh, Katie said this is not a head-to-head -head challenge. I'm gonna call this a head-to-tail challenge. I'm glad I'm not tails. Get it? Because uh, it's a coin. So people already have really good luck at this balloon toss, so I think we're going to start at tub toss, though. Okay, but over here we have break up late balloon um, pod tub toss, which they're calling bushel basket, but it's not bushel basket. Yeah, weird. And, of course, a, the, the farther milk jug. Okay, Katie has the phone with the giant quarter on. Okay, so heads is heads, and tails, for whatever reason, is the state of Wyoming state quarter tails. We're in Minnesota though. This doesn't make any sense. Oh, we couldn't change it. Anyway, so I'm heads, Spencer is tails. First game is going to be tub toss. Bushel basket. Should I shake it? Sure. <laughs> heads! <It's> me! <laughs> uh oh. So I'm you're... honestly rather get it out of the way of bushel basket and maybe like I won't do the second one. <laughs> Okay, we got the sign here saying bushel basket. It's five dollars for three balls. Always a good deal. All right, so you need two out of three to win a medium prize, which is, I'm assuming is this shark. It was the same shark last year. I had a lot of these sharks. And then three out of three to win <laughs> choice, which is this adorable sloth. I really like it. Very cute. Okay, hand may not cross countertop. No cross throwing. Nice. Now these are very, very horizontal tubs. Yes, these are the ones that people, one of the ones that people always get mad at, but they're winnable. So. They are winnable. We've won uh, many sharks. I don't, we've never won the choice prize though. We've won a mini shark. That's true. Okay, I'm going to go on the left here. Okay, you're going to go on the left side. Up. Yeah. All right, Katie, you are up. Oh, I'm nervous. That's one. That's two. That's three. Look at you. Oh my gosh. Um, whichever color is easier to grab. Whoa, it's in a big old box. That That's looks like perfect. you're getting a great one. Thank Whoa. you. Whoa. You started this video off with a killer win. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's soft? It's super soft. Oh, I thought it was going to be foam for no, sure. No, it's not foam, it's soft. That's amazing. Good job, Kate. I can't believe on that first play too. Now I have a lot to love up to today. I'll tell you what. Okay, since Katie was a big winner on game one with this giant slot, I still can't believe it's it. It's so big. He's going to choose the next one. I don't that's know. Not, that's not going to work. Okay, the next game is going to be the, what they call the winner's wheel. Okay. Um, you've seen us play this one. You just spin the wheel and whatever it lands on is your prize. It's the easiest game in the park and a guaranteed winner, although some that's of the prizes true. were not great last year. Yeah, some of the prizes are maybe not good for us since we're not local. So, all, all right. right, let's give it a whirl. Oh, Yay! man. This is Spencer's like the one game that you play. wanted to play today, too. Well, now the pressure's on you because there's a prize I really like. So. Uh, oh, so now I have to win the prize for you? Exactly. All right. Okay, right next to Sprite Basketball. $5 for two shots. We're not going to play that today, I don't think. Why is but it always Sprite? I don't know. Sprite always has the Monopoly on it. But it's a really good deal. $5 for two shots. Only one in to win. Okay, we're at the winner's wheel. It's one spin for $5. Another good value. And what do we have? We have small prize, three free balls at Moo Ball. That's oh. a big milk jug back here. Oh, and they three have small balls prizes. Three free balls at Goblet Toss. Front toss oh, okay. There's a lot of options. Yeah, one free toss at Milk Bottle. I like all of these options, but there's also They've improved small, since last small year. large, and it looks like medium prizes as well. I want this medium frog. That's the prize I was talking about. Okay, so this is the prize that she was saying is this medium frog. Well, pig in a frog suit. Okay. All right, but there's a big pig in a frog suit, too. Uh, it's a large prize. I don't know if I'm going to get either. If anything, is there any half off? Because remember last year it was like half off and icy or something like that? No, I think they took that away. Okay, I think all of these ones are actually pretty quality prizes this year. Okay. Are you ready? No, I'm not ready at all. The pressure's on. <laughs> you already have a massive prize. I have nothing. Okay. Yeah, the pressure's on a little bit. All right, are you ready? Yes. I'm going to go this way. Okay. 
Oh, that was a good spin. Okay, let's get up here so we can see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's going to spin forever. I, he didn't even spin it too hard, which I think was a Okay, smart medium choice. just pressed. There's another medium coming up. I don't small. know if it's... Oh, come on. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! No way. Yes! Look at that. Wait. Oh, no. Is it going back? Oh, no. That's the wind. The wind took it. Oh, no. It is. He counted oh, it. Is. It really is so is. windy today. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. So you got the frog. You said you liked the frog, right? Yes. Okay. The other one is an elephant. No, frog. Today. All right, I'm frog it is. Mood. Thank you so much. Oh man, uh, we're both big prize winners now. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so soft too. All right, we're gonna head over back to the other games and near the front of the park. Uh, I really like the three-point challenge here. They have a great speaker set up. Their screens work beautifully. It's in a good location where everyone can watch. Yeah, right next to the Dippin' Dots as well. There is also the guessing game that's over here. It is up to $10 now to play, so I think we're going to pass on it today. Although I really would have liked to flip a coin to see who would do the uh, no. guessing game. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, we made it over to the other game section of the park. This is the other midway nearish the front of the park. I got my big prize, my large prize at that one. I can't believe we both got a large prize. I know, it's been a weird day. <laughs> okay, but the next game is Bankaball. We both actually won this game last season mm -hmm. on short form, I believe, for YouTube Shorts. Uh, so I have my tails here. Are you guys ready? Yes. Oh, no, it's me again. <laughs> oh, what are the odds? Oh, I guess 50-50, right? 50-50. Okay, Spencer's going to play Bankaball. Okay, Spencer is going to start us off at bank a ball. Let's go over some rules really fast. The ball has to bounce off of the board. It cannot knock the little sticks at the top or bottom off. You'll know if it happens, so it's actually kind of loud. And then it needs to land and stay in the blue box. You can't cross the edge of the counter. It's elbow, right? Elbow past the counter, which is pretty, I mean, that's pretty decently far. Yeah, okay. And, Very um, generous rule. How Spencer usually does this one is a little bit of a side spin, a high arch, and um, he tries to bounce it off the bottom kind of near that limit one prize per day. Yeah, so we'll see. I usually play on the left one, but if you, I know it's gonna be hard to see on the camera, the stick on the left one is actually an inch, probably a solid inch higher yeah. than the ones on the right side. It's okay. kind of weird, so I'm gonna play on the middle one. They probably take them in, in the winter, you know? Yeah. They're, Probably right. All right. All right. We got three balls. Three balls for five bucks. Okay. Here goes Spencer. That was it. <laughs> that was it. Well, can, can I play I the right the other no, two? No, wait. Can I finish them out? Oh, I can give it to somebody else yeah, to play? It's, it's per person. It's per person. Oh, well, that means that, uh, that, means that you are in here. Okay. <laughs> wow. I can't believe that I got on the first try, though. I can. I mean, I did my You're good at this game. my usual technique on this one. Okay, so I usually like to check to make sure my elbow won't cross, and then I'll have be, to readjust. It would be extremely difficult for yeah, your elbow I'd to cross. Yeah, I'd have to be all the way Yeah, you have to lean all the way forward. All right. Oh, that was Ooh. really close. Yeah. I think it was just a little bit closer to the limit one prize per day. That's it. Oh, oh it didn't hit, didn't the, hit board. the board. It didn't hit the board. Oh, man. That's okay. Uh, Spencer's still a winner. I would like, oh, it's our choice between the corn dog or the rain tan, but I would take a corn dog, please. All right, he's got to go grab one from the back, but let's show these while we're over here. Look at these. Oh, my gosh. And we actually met the guy at IAPA this year that created all of these. Yeah, I think it's really cute. This corn dog is going to be a new hot prize this summer, so I really wanted to see it. Yeah, it's so cute. It is foam. But, but... look, they've tied a little rope on it so we can carry it today. That's it. I don't think that I think that's just so it stands up oh. nicely when they're displaying it. You might be correct. I might have just made that up on the spot because I. You're like, oh, a, a fancy carrying rope on here. It no. makes sense in my head, you guys. <laughs> All right, oh, let's geez. get let's get the corn dog. Thank you. Ah. Okay. Well, that's that's heavy actually. There's no carrying rope either. Why did I think that? You I don't know. This is actually really heavy for a foam animal. Usually one of the reasons to go for foam is A, it's a little bit cheaper, and B, it's super light, so when they string it up in these games, it's not nearly as heavy and easy to ship. Uh, this is actually really substantial for a foam prize. It's because they use a smaller, nicer styrofoam at least, so. Okay, up next is going to be the smaller milk jug, and um, this is the one that's labeled like barnyard basketball, if you guys remember our last video. So Spencer is going to flip the coin. Are you ready? Yes. The corn dog's gonna flip the coin. Heads! Oh, geez, Louise, it's me! You're okay. on. I liked this one last year. I did somehow, like, I got, like, one in more than you. You did. You did way better than I did last year. I wouldn't say way better, but slightly, yes. Okay. Okay, yeah, we got our barnyard basketball over here. Three balls for $5. Okay. Again, a stellar deal. 
Uh, so your hand Thank cannot you. extend past the countertop. I like that they have a ball holder here. I know, they have the ball holder over there at the uh, bank of ball too. Okay. Very These nice. These are really light. Okay, do they have any markings? No, not at all. No, they're not real softballs. They're lighter than softballs. So they probably are like... Um, Carnival softballs. Oh, uh, what's the word? Like cork inside or something? Yeah, you know? some kind of it. Okay, so there are three different prize levels. Small, okay. medium, and choice. Hand cannot extend past the counter, so I'm going to put my hand here so I know. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, right off the edge. Oh! Oh no! He smacked that mushroom that in the mushroom. back there too. Okay, I gotta get something, you guys. Yeah! Yay! Okay, you got a small, you got a small prize. Okay, so not a loss, which is good. I know that choice prize would be you. what you were going for. Oh, what'd you get? I got a little frog. Oh, a little belly buddy frog? Yeah. That's a really quality small prize. This is really cute. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm a little sad I didn't get a mushroom. Yeah, look, they even have like little red, blue, and green mushrooms up top as the large prize, but I don't even think we've ever gotten three out of three on here. Uh, yeah, I might come back and play this for YouTube Shorts would be my guess, because if, if this is a prize that I want the most, Ooh, I don't know. There's something to gobble. It's how I think I was. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, we have about two game changes, it looks like, this year at Valley Fair. The first one is right here behind this striped curtain, but you can kind of see it down below. This is where Bankaball was. It still looks like a shell is I'm not Bankaball. I'm so sorry. Uh, Blockbuster. Blockbuster. So since it's still partially here, it might just not be open now or opening later in the season. So we're going to leave this as a big question mark. Okay, but the other game we know for sure is not coming back ever because it's been entirely changed over. So let's go check that out real quick before we move on. Okay, and here is the biggest change to the games here at Valley Fair this year. This is Duck Pond. If you remember last year's video, there was no Duck Pond here. And it's because Duck Pond has replaced Ring a Bottle, Bottle Up, however you want to call it. This entire corner, you can actually see where the game was by the cement here. They took out that game entirely, kind of shaved off the corner here, and made it a prize every time Lucky Duck. And you can see, it's kind of like Squid Games here. They all have shapes on the bottom, and it is a winner every time. So you basically pay for the level of your prize, regular, medium, or choice, and then you just keep playing until you match two matching ducks. Um, interesting, I, we, we didn't see a lot of too many people win the Bottle Up game last year. If you guys remember when we played it last year, it was actually set up incorrectly. Um, I really do like these Reptars though. So an interesting change. It's always nice to see another kid-friendly game here, but of course we do always miss seeing a skill game go away. Okay, with another win for Katie, we have completed the Barnyard Basketball, and we're gonna move on. I down put it the in road. my backpack though. That's why you guys can't see. I'm holding this oh. frog as a pseudo frog. Um, just pretend this is a tiny frog. Pretend it's a tiny frog, not a pig dressed as a frog. It, we're running out of space real fast. Very true. I did not expect that. I know I have my giant corn dog here too. Okay, up next is going to be Goblet Toss because I just spotted something that I want and then we'll kind of go to the games on the other wall. Okay, shake it up, frog. Did I shake it? Yeah. Heads! Uh -oh. Now the pressure's on myself. The pressure is on yourself. Am I playing more games than you? We did, no, because we did heads, tails, tails, heads, heads. Yeah, but I basically also had to play Bankable. <laughs> You did also I basically have to play bankable, but technically we're we're kind of right on track here. So <laughs> Okay, we'll see. let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I see. Oh yeah, I see what you wanted. So cute. It's a little fiesta axe, a lot of we've never seen these before. Those are so cute. Okay, it actually looks like they have three different sizes of this. None okay. in the small prize, but it looks like we have a medium, a large on this side, and a choice up here. Oh my gosh, so that's three different opportunities on this board to win. Okay. I mean more than more than three, because there's more than one of each color. Okay, so it's $5 for seven balls or 10 for 15. I'm gonna go ahead and do the $10 because I do wanna try this one. That's, okay, that's not really like that much of a better deal. You only get one additional ball. Yeah, but I guess just so you can get in the groove a little faster. I guess that's true. Thank you. Okay, Katie has all 15 of her balls right okay, here. This is fine, everything's fine. Good luck. Okay, so I was wrong. So the choice, you do have to trade up. So they have trade-ups here and it is too small for one medium, two mediums for one large, too large for one choice and you only get two choice per day uh, so you'd have to get two larges red is small yellow is medium blue is large and then if you get into the green one which there are several green ones on the board you get three more balls okay and this one does have an edge to it so you're not guaranteed to land on the table right so yeah you oh can see that there's like oh my gosh it's starting to get windy i can try to hold some of these thank you i really appreciate it i don't know why this is the option yeah all that right. one's with the nice ball rails all right Oh, the wind just took that it one. It really did. Okay, so this is gonna be, you can actually see the plush blowing in the background because the wind is so strong to the right. A red, you already got a small. What? Okay. Second ball is a small. Okay, so I definitely need a medium though to get an axolotl. Yeah, so you have to get at least one more red to get an axolotl. 
Oh, it's so close. Two away. Oh, now you got the hang of it. Oh, oh man, I thought it was gonna go in that blue. All right. Oh, right off the edge. It's I okay. have to wait until the wind stops. I know, it, it, yeah, it's like the occasional wind gust. We were driving by windmills on the highway and that's how we knew it was gonna be a blustery day. Oh, oh whoa, that it like bounced weird. off the front wall. I got two in my hand okay, too. Okay, I don't need them yet. Please don't give them to me. I know, I know. I'm I have my own problems. I thought you were just trying to count. No, the wind is blowing the ones like in front of me away. Come on. Oh, oh, one away from that red. Oh, come on. We need one more red. Oh, one away from another red. Uh oh. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. straight off the board. I have four in my hand. Okay, okay I can hold them now. I feel a little better. Yes. Come on. Come on. Ooh, that was like right in the middle. That was pretty good, actually. Oh, it went out of that red. Oh, yes! Yay! Wow, it went, went in out of it, and then you got it. So you're at a medium already. Okay, so now I'm, I, everything is gravy now. Everything is gravy. And now if you get a medium here, which is a yellow goblet, you can trade up to the large because you have Whoa. a medium already. Okay. So you just need one more medium to get a large. Let's see if we can't get a yellow. Carnival math. That's true. If you get the oh, blue, so true. good. Okay. Oh, that one all right, is. two more. The ones that are in my hand. That's stuck in my fingers. Oh my gosh. Okay. Get the soap. <laughs> Can you imagine if that happened during a video? Like one of us got <laughs> stuck in a wiffle ball? One time my hand got stuck in a pool table as a child. Oh, okay. Last one. Last one. All right, ready? Oh, hey! okay. It's okay. Okay. I'm excited. Okay. We would like this axolotl, please. The axolotl. Luckily, they have a giant tub of them. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you so much. This is exactly what I saw and what I wanted. That is so cute. I love it. Oh, perfect. Man, that doesn't always work out for me when I see something and I want it. So I'm very happy. But you did it. You're on a hot streak today. You're winning everything. Okay, Katie has her little axolotl. She's on a win streak. Yes, if we don't count bankable, which we're not counting because it wasn't my game. It was my game, but you technically played three games in a row now, which is kind of nuts. I don't want to play again. Don't do me wrong. <laughs> yeah, your 50-50 shot here. Okay, so next up is going to be milk bottle. This is going to be the knock em down milk bottle version, uh, not the milk jug. Milk bottle, milk jug. I don't know, it's only milk, milk you guys. Milk can? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know how what many milk jug is. milk come in? Milk can, yeah. Okay, uh oh. Uh oh, you've timed it. Oh, there it is. All right, ready? Hey, that's me. Oh, yeah, see, I'm the little cowboy from Wyoming. I don't know. <laughs> we have a magnet with that on it. We do. Okay, so Spencer's going to play it, and uh, it's got squishmallows. Okay, it's Spencer's turn at Milk, Do Milk Bottle. Two throws for $5. I don't, sometimes reading these signs is such a tongue twister, you guys. <laughs> okay, so um, you need to get the milk bottles all the way off. Yes. And Spencer likes to look at them all to make sure that the rope is not up too high on them um, because this one definitely matters which one that you throw at. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a few parks that have like a plastic ring that yes. gets broken over time, especially as the season goes on. And sometimes the plastic ring has gaps in it and it makes it easier for the bottles to fall. Exactly. In this case, he was looking for the rope in the back to be the best. You can kind of see there's like a little um, ripple in the front, but um, he was looking in the back for it. So. Yeah, okay, so you only have to get all of them off one time to win anything okay. in the booth. And yeah, they're squishmallows, 12 inch here too, which is pretty good. Nice. All right, so you get two shots for $5. Okay. Are you ready? We're ready. <laughs> Hit the front of the I'm thing. I'm so sorry, I shouldn't laugh like that. I mean, Spencer's trying I knocked to sweep two it over. really low. That's why that happens <laughs> sometimes. Um, but with such force that it still somehow knocked them Thank over. You. All right, are you ready? Yes. Oh! oh! Over but not off. Okay, so oh, that doesn't off. count as a win here. Dang it. Um, but that was still a really good play from that Spencer. That was so close. I can't believe it. We're already at our last game today here at Valley Fair. I can't believe I also had technically the only loss of the day, too, at Milk Bottle. That's kind of sad. But, I mean, amazing that we've won so many awesome prizes so far today. All right, our last game is basketball today. Mini basketball. A short shot, if you will. This is where we won that ramen last year. I'm really excited to see who's going to play this game. All right. Are you ready? No. <laughs> oh, it's yes! me! Yes! <laughs> I didn't want to play this, you Oh, guys. my gosh. I was going to be a good sport if I had to, but I don't have to. Oh, no, no. I, the pressure's on me to not lose two games you in a row. you got to win the last game. Okay, it's time for our last game of the day. It's time for our mini basketball. Um, 
And let's see, so it's uh, one win for a small, which are these emoji balls. Two wins are gonna be a basketball or a flag, or you'd have to play again um, to trade two mediums for a large belly bunny hamster. And I don't, I'm not saying I don't know why, but this is like the most popular game in the park right now. I know, okay, are you ready? Yes. Everybody's been going overhand. I think I'm gonna go underhand. I've been doing a lot better overhand than underhand, but okay. we're in, it's a really tiny ball. It is a small hoop, but it is ob or it's circular. Okay. All right, you ready? Yes. Uh, it's a little bit off to the left, yeah. Ooh, close, that was kind of right close. to the right. All right, I'm gonna go overhand. Okay. Everybody's going overhand. I'm gonna do it. Are you ready? Yes, we're ready. Oh goodness! Man, I can't so believe I, close. I lost two games in a row. Ah, that's okay. It's getting a little busy here today, so uh, we don't want to take up too much time with these games. But let's check out all the cool prizes yeah. we won. Yeah. Okay. Well, I may have won more games today, but Spencer definitely won the bigger prizes. Huh. And I think it was really fun because we won some games that we haven't won before. So not too much of a change up here at Valley Fair. They still have a lot of our favorite games. They still have a lot of really big prizes and they still have a lot of affordable games. Only a few went up in price this year. So I would say um, hopefully they get more Squishmallows as the season goes on. Sorry, not sorry. Um, so other than that, I'd say I definitely still recommend the games at Valley Fair.